Hello. I just wanted to take a minute to talk a little bit about the book that the Adult Formation uh, Committee is uh, beginning this week. It is called The Book of Joy, and it is about uh, it's about a week spent together uh, with the Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu. It um, was for the Dalai Lama's 80th birthday, and uh, Desmond Tutu was able to travel to, to India to be with the Dalai Lama, uh, and it was about their experience over those days, uh, talking about how we find joy. And um, one of the remarkable things about these two people uh, is how they have been able to find joy even amidst a very difficult situation. Um, in fact, both uh, have won a Nobel Peace Prize for their ability uh, to be able to um, to find a deep well of peace uh, and, and guide people th uh, with that uh, deep well of peace uh, through very difficult times. Uh, Desmond Tutu uh, has a very different personality and a very different way of going about things than the Dalai Lama. Um, you know, he uh, is not afraid to be a, a vocal antagonist, uh, especially during apartheid. Uh, he uh, was a very, very loud voice uh, and a powerful voice uh, calling for an end to apartheid. Uh, but he did so uh, with a desire for peace. He, he often said uh, that uh, the Dutch um, uh, uh, were, were held down um, by the English, and when they got power, uh, the Afrikaans, the Dutch, uh, you know, held down the, the Africans, the, 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 the native people, uh, and that if uh, South Africa is ever going to get out of this cycle, uh, it will require... Uh, a, a peaceful exchange of, of power. And so he said he certainly understood uh, why the, the young men uh, were picking up, up rocks and, and throwing them uh, at, at their oppressors, but, um, but begged them uh, to find a different way and, and begged the rest of the world uh, to, to intervene and, uh, uh, and to boycott uh, South Africa until, until apartheid ended. And then even after apartheid ended, uh, he worked tirelessly uh, uh, towards reconciliation, that there would be a moment of, of honest reflection, of, uh, of admitting the crimes of apartheid, uh, and, and of reconciling. And, and so um, uh, that, that has been an important part of, of what's taken place uh, over the last 30 years in, in, in South Africa, uh, and he has been at the, the forefront of that. Uh, the Dalai Lama um, uh, won a Nobel Peace Prize as well uh, for, uh, uh, for the way that he uh, used nonviolence uh, uh, to make the world aware of, of what took place uh, uh, when China um, uh, overtook Tibet uh, and, and has worked uh, to, to increase awareness, uh, but called for nonviolence in that situation as well. Uh, but these are two uh, wonderful, extraordinary religious leaders uh, of Buddhism, of, of Christianity, uh, and, um, uh, and uh, they've met uh, over the years. Uh, in fact, uh, one of the neat things is that uh, Anna, my wife, uh, had the opportunity to, to meet both of them uh, as there was a Nobel laureates uh, conference at the University of Virginia. And, uh, and said, you know, there was something about them, uh, even just shaking their hand, uh, that they had a mirth or a joy that, that seemed to belie uh, the stories that, uh, that they'd endured and, and, uh, and, and, and the rest of their lives, uh, but that there was a sense that you were in the presence of a deep, deep peace um, uh, or lightness that, that you don't often get. Um, and uh, I actually, um, my mom met Desmond Tutu as well uh, up at uh, the seminary. And then um, for my graduation, Desmond Tutu was our graduation speaker. And so uh, so any of us uh, in our encounters, as we've talked about it, have shared uh, the, the fact that there is that sense of lightness and joy uh, that, um, that certainly seems hard to catch uh, when you think of the, the life circumstances of, of, of these men. Um, but as we've uh, gone through uh, the, the, the coronavirus, as we've gone through uh, all of the issues in our own lives, and as we've gone through our, uh, our current turmoil, uh, how do we find that kind of deep well of, uh, of joy, the, the kind of joy that, um, that can be sustained uh, when, life is, when life is gray, uh, when we're in the valleys uh, of life? And, uh, um, and one of the pieces that they, they work through is that, you know, it's, um, 
it often uh, doesn't come from pushing down those uh, those emotions. Uh, you know, Desmond Tutu says, you know, that he's as apt to cry as he is to laugh. Uh, that all of his emotions are are closer to the surface. That that life is a little bit more um, technicolor um, when we bring it all to the surface. But that's how we find that joy as well as uh, as well acknowledging the sorrow. Uh, but we thought it would be a very very appropriate book for this season uh, in 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 our collective lives, and um, uh, and they're both just two exemplary people that. Um, that I certainly encourage uh, you to, to learn more about their journeys and, and how, um, how we might be able to find that kind of joy, that kind of uh, peace uh, within our own hearts. And so, um, so I hope you enjoy the book. I hope you find it a, um, a very fruitful read and I hope there's some, some real nuggets about how, um, uh, how do we, we find a, a, a deeper peace. Uh, I know for both of the men, their um, uh, their prayer life, their spiritual life is is critical. Um, uh, it was often said that even going from uh, war to, worn torn place to worn torn place uh, in uh, in South Africa, that while the driver uh, was taking Desmond Tutu from point A to point B, uh, he would pray the daily office, and um, uh, and he uh, prayed it so frequently uh, that he didn't need a, a, a prayer book that he could pray it from heart. Um, and the person next to him was just sort of taken back that that's how he uh, prepared his heart uh, to be able to do the difficult work of, uh, uh, of calling out sin uh, and then ultimately of, of reconciling um, uh, broken, uh, broken people uh, together. Um, and um, the Dalai Lama wakes up at 3 a.m. to begin um, uh, his discipline. Uh, and um, even the writer acknowledges that uh, that this won't fit into everybody's uh, schedule and and in life circumstances. Uh, but there is a part of it that we can uh, that we can integrate, that we can um, uh, find the time and space and uh, and a pattern to our lives that we might be able to uh, to find uh, an enduring uh, and 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 uh, and peaceful joy. Um, that, uh, that rests on our hearts. So that's, uh, that's my prayer for you all. And I'd certainly encourage all of you to, to, uh, to grab the book, uh, to, to read the book, and, and to, um, uh, to share, share your ideas of what's, what strikes you about these two, two very, very remarkable lives. So enjoy.